Hello, this is Margaret Uponi, the CEO of Maribet Consult Limited. I'm here again this week to talk about our finances, getting out of debt. Yes, getting out of financial debt. I realize that a lot of people, they earn six figures really in Nigeria or America or wherever and they are still in debt their loans they're not able to pay their loans and the whole lot of things they have sleepless nights you know they have high blood pressure they're so worried about a whole lot of things so let's talk about how you can get out of debt so i'm just going to give you some tips that you can use you can apply to getting out of debt number one be open to new ideas yes be open to new ideas yeah a lot of us we tend to be close-minded because we're guarding our heart you know we don't want to get hurt we don't want to be fooled or whatever it is but just listen open be open to new ideas and then you now have the way without to be able to juggle it out and know which one you would follow because in ideas you get in being open to new ideas you get um, maybe the Eureka moment for you to be able to create something and get out of debt. Two, you have to understand how money works. I call it the beauty of money. You have to understand how money works. Money is a science. <laughs> it, you just have to understand how it works. And um, that's that. Three, you engage in extra business. Maybe online. Yes, I would even say online. After your regular work hours, your business hours, or your normal work hours, you could commit like two hours after your closure of the close after after the close of the day, and then commit two hours to doing one business or the other online. You know, there are a lot of online businesses you can really do as um as as a side um, income that you can get. Then four. You find a lucrative investment. You would like investment. You're talking about getting out of debt here. I know. There are so many investment companies that are looking for funds and they're ready to pay you like 10% ROI monthly or even 20%, depending on how you're able to negotiate your way. You know. So with the little money you have, you know, you can just commit to to into that investment, the lucrative investment, but be sure that they are professionals and they know what they are doing, you know, and then they are giving you returns. So with that returns, you will be able to like offset your, your debt. Then number five, you deliberately guard your money. Deliberately guard your money. When I say guard your money, it does not necessarily mean that, oh, you shouldn't spend money at all, or that I'm encouraging being frugal, you know, like that you know i'm talking about you directing where your money should go to you have to talk to your money you have to speak to your money that go this way go that way go this way because if you do not that is planning if you do not direct your money where it should go to money has a way of matching up with your expenses you know or let me just say that expenses yes i think this is, is this a better way expenses has a way of matching up with your income so even if you in, you have increase in income expenses will, will just come along and match up with your income then you will now be at a zero level but this you really have to now learn how to guard your money so that your your expenses are reduced and your income uh you're increasing your income that's number four so number five or i think that's five number six is the use of credit card yes credit card you just use it wisely and how do you do that like in nigeria i know that is um interest free and almost everywhere i think is interest free monthly so if they give you if you have access to a credit card facility then you should be using that money, the credit card, to purchase your necessary expenses for the month, but make sure you pay back at the end of the month so that you have a very good credit rating. 
okay so your your money that you have earned your own salary you don't use it but instead of you just placing it in the bank not say not getting you any interest at all put it in a lucrative investment um, package that will give you like 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent monthly so with that you're able to pay back your debt then you do the next one is that you do bulk purchase yes and like, ah, you don't have money and then you're asking me or oh, i'm saving money or oh, i'm getting out of debt and asking me to do bulk purchase i know but when you do wholesale buying you're saving money in in you're saving money that way and then you can the money you save you can use it to offset your loan another one is that you should just buy absolute necessary things yes i say that it is like it is i call it like you know finding your money your hidden money where your money some of your monies are hidden you know so when you do when you buy absolute necessary things you're able to save money what is in it that you're buying um um cafe latte you know but i mean i don't want to mention any kind of brand when you can just take just normal coffee you know what's in it in you um doing a whole lot of things or catching up with the trend you know all of that just because but if you know the person you are if you have an understanding of yourself you wouldn't have to go on following the trend because you cannot really catch up with the trend so why don't you just stick to absolute necessary things for the main time and so, so as to cut off your debt so you do that and then again where you what's the need when you have a family of six and you have like four cars lying in your that you focus in your garage you know like that what about you what about you just using two cars you know to to do the normal things that you 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 want to do i mean because you're tying that money with those cars there why don't you just get it get get them off and then you can pay your debt then another one is beware of mediocre and what do I mean by that? You know, when you're getting services, or maybe like, let me say, you want to service your car just because you're trying to save money, then you use the uh, roadside mechanics and the rest of it that are not necessarily expert, except if you're sure already that they are expert, you know. So, what I'm saying is that engaging ex in the use of expert services. Otherwise, you would have to do it all over again, and that's being penny wise, pound foolish. Do you understand? What I'm saying yes, you do. So the next one is using your time wisely. It's really important. Time is money. The first time I heard this phrase, the way you do one thing is the way you do every other thing. I heard it from Innocent Usa, you know, for the first time, and he kept saying it, and I was wondering. So with time, I knew that that's okay. Your time is important. So how do you use your time? If you squander your time, you it's like flushing money down the the toilet. You know what I mean. So why don't you just use your time wisely rather than squandering your time? Invest in yourself. That's the next one. Invest in yourself. Oh, you say, oh, I'm trying to get out of loan. You just came in to invest in myself. Let me tell you, business growth is dependent on self development, and that's the way it is. So you have to for your for your business to grow, for your career to go grow, for you to have promotion of to have increase in salary. You must invest in yourself it's really important because when you invest in yourself if you invest in yourself like um three times you know or two times you'll make like three times of it eventually so it's not a waste it's really wisdom that is speaking here then the the last one but not the least is for you to engage on accountability partner a lot of us will like to look for especially the side of the of the world you know you know we like to probably get yeah you say seek counsel and the rest of it 
you now want to get it for free and then you go to places that they are not really experts but when you get an expert advice financial coach a life coach you know you 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 you're getting a shortcut to how to reach in your goal faster so it's wiser for you to do that somebody that holds you by the hand and shows you the way because he's gone through it before and he understands what it is to get out of loan i have been there before and i know what it is to get, to be to 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 have to be indebted to financial institutions and then you have sleepless nights and a whole lot of things will just keep going on will keep going wrong you know at that point in time so with this little uh, tips that i've given you i hope you'll be able to apply it and then get out of it so if you like this video just like it press the like button and if you have not subscribed yet i implore you to subscribe so that you can get more actionable tips on business growth and self-development and then do me a favor share it with your friends and family members just the way i'm sharing with you right now based on my experience and based on what i know you know i'm sharing it with you so that i can get out of debt just do the same thing share it with your friends because my mantra is together in success so i would like to pull us all of us up so that we are in success together thank you for listening have a great day bye